Do 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 do. It's G from the Academy. Reminding you in the early hours before the sun comes up that health is wealth. And this article is something to think about, something to ponder. Because if you're not thinking, then you're sinking. Anyway, seems to me a lot of people survive relatively well not thinking, which is not good. Here we go. This article has the title, 95% of climate software models have turned out to be flat wrong. And remember what models are. Models are simulations. They are not reality. Keep that in mind. It's all a game. It's all a game. And people are the pieces that are shuffled around. This article was published in naturalnews.com. Let's find out why the models are wrong. Three decades ago, 197 countries from across the globe signed the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. That did a lot, right? After scientists discovered that chemicals known as chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, were causing the ozone layer to get thinner. Right, it wasn't the nuclear experiments in the upper atmosphere, was it? Ah ha ha ha. Um, Trinity and such like. Studies had determined that CFCs commonly used in fire retardants, aerosol cans and refrigerators were to blame for the ozone crisis. Um, yeah, buy a fridge, so, um, it's the end of the world. Not really, but I think scientists also discovered other things and have discovered things since then. Anyway, let's read on. The treaty worked. In 2016, scientists announced that the ozone layer was healing after the gradual global phase-out of 98% of all ozone-depleting substances. Hmm. World leaders, world, world, world leaders, who are they, saw the scientifically sound evidence of a looming disaster, acted together and prevented that disaster. More recently, the media and certain scientists have tried to push for similar global cooperation to avert what they call the global warming crisis. I think they changed global warming to climate change because they realized that parts of the globe weren't warming. Mm. Wasn't it the International Panel for Climate Change that said the uh, sun had little or no effect on the Earth's atmosphere? <coughs> Bizarre. Thank you, Club of Rome. Once again, they insist that there is sound scientific evidence of a pending disaster and that, that it can only be averted if world leaders act quickly and in unison to prevent it. Still, wars are good. Weapons are good. Um, pharmaceuticals are good, right? But there is a difference. This time the scientific evidence is not Sound. Yes, it's not so sound. In fact, 95% of climate software models have been proved or proven to be inaccurate. That's the truth. Yet, despite this complete lack of scientific evidence of any pending disaster, we all continue to buy into the global warming hysteria. Perhaps because many of us remember how world leaders were able to avert the ozone layer disaster, uh, perhaps most people have completely forgotten about that. Look, I've lived next to my, next to, <laughs> I've lived next to the sea uh, for a large part of my life. The level is not increasing. Um, 
the only problem that I've noticed is that uh, when people do want to protect their homes from natural disasters such as you know, flooding which happens that you get more rain and the rivers overflow etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, people say, oh no you can't do that you can't change that that's nature mm. humans have always messed with nature to a certain extent where where do you think your water comes from anyway anyway this time there is no sound scientific reason to buy into the hype however it is important to consider there may be other reasons why global warming panic is being spread by the media and world governments dun, dun, dun. i don't like the use of language there what the science reveals as explained by martin armstrong of armstrong economics no idea what that is climate change is normal and has been a constant throughout history he notes during the 1930s for example there were the extreme dust bowl drought years while at the same time the usa japan and china experienced some of the most intense cold fronts in recorded history he notes you cannot blame this on soccer moms driving the kids around town burning fossil fuels cars were a luxury in the 1930s still i don't know what that's supposed to all mean um rather abstract statement for a scientist despite or perhaps because of it these continuing massive swings in temperature it has been normal for scientists to make alarming production predictions which have not proven to be true you're not a scientist if you make an alarming prediction which is unrealistic you're just peddling superstition Armstrong notes in January 1970 life magazine based on solid scientific evidence claimed that by 1985 air pollution would reduce the sunlight reaching the earth by half in fact across that period sunlight fell by between 3% and 5% in the 1971 speech Paul Ehrlich said if I were a gambler I would take even money that England will not exist in the year 2000 Paul Ehrlich is obviously insane fast forward to march 2000 and david viner senior research scientist at the climate research unit university of east anglia government propaganda department told the independent um snowfalls are now a thing of the past in december 2010 the mail online reported coldest december since records began as temperatures plummet to minus 10 degrees bringing travel chaos across britain yes yes um remember when it was colder and before that it was hotter the true scientific facts about the global warming crisis are these according to this article while scientists love to state that 97 percent of all scientists agree that man-made global warming is a proven fact i don't think they do they choose to um, omit mention of the fact that 95 percent of all climate change models that predicted global warming temperature increases have proven to be false including the ones located in cities that are warmer uh, the daily caller reports former nasa scientist dr roy spencer says that climate models used by government agencies to create policies have failed miserably as have the governments in my opinion Spencer analyzed 90 climate models against surface temperature and satellite temperature data and found that more than 95% of the models have over forecast the warming trend since 1979. Whether we use their own surface temperature data set or our satellite data set, it's basically false. The lesson just because the scientists got it right once when they averted the ozone crisis doesn't mean they get it right every time yes it's individual and when it comes to global warming hysteria they most certainly have not got it right hmm. something to think about um check out the climate depot i think that's dot com you'll find it interesting articles there learn more at climate.news
Sources include armstrongeconomics.com, weforum.org, dailycaller.com. Check the sources for yourself. Don't believe me? Triple check all data from the source. From the source. Um, word of mouth matters. This article had the title 95% of climate software models have turned out to be flat wrong. And I would add to that, stop scaring the children. Adults need to learn to be slightly more responsible. Ever so slightly. That's it. This is G from the Academy reminding you that health is wealth.